Okay, hello everyone. Um, welcome back to my channel. This is Stephanie from Lumeria Star. Um, so today the video I'm filming is actually a viewer requested film. They wanted to see um, a walkthrough of the Oracle deck uh, Lay Vampires or Lay Vampires, however you want to pronounce that. And then I was like, you know what would be really cool? I wanted to show off all three decks that I have that are created and written by um, Lucy Cavendish and then artwork by Jasmine Beckett Griffith, which is this very um, distinct artwork of these like, like female figures with these really big bright eyes. They're very haunting. So um, yeah, I thought it'd be really cool to take a look at them and like kind of compare and contrast. So I think I'm gonna take a look at the Lay Vampires first and kind of talk about like why I bought it, how I've used it. Oh, is that a sticker? Um, so this deck right here, and these are all mass market by the way. And these have all been out for a really long time too, but um, this was viewer requested. So I thought this would be a fun idea. So these are the backs of this deck. I did edge this in just like a matte black. So this deck I bought, so let me preface this. All of these Oracle decks by um, Lucy Cavendish and Jasmine Beckett Griffith, I don't pair these with tarot typically. So the way I work with some Oracle decks, which are all three of these, these are like standalone decks for me. So what I mean by that is these decks I work with just on their own. Usually I just pull one card because I feel like there's a lot of like meat and substance to each card. So even pulling more than two at the most sometimes feels too much for me. So with decks like this, these are my big like journaling decks. So I've developed a practice this year where um, I work with one Oracle deck a month, very similar to how I do my, on Instagram, the Lumeria Star Tarot Edit. I pick the the decks I want to work with for the month, but I've also been picking an Oracle deck I want to work for the month, and that's the the soul deck I work with for all my journaling, like my daily morning journal practice. So um, I found that these decks are really wonderful. That wonderful for that. I pull one card, like I can really sink into the imagery. There's a title. I like how there are keywords, and then the guidebooks have been really great. So I. I read the guide guidebooks like completely through. So when I bought Lay Vampires, which I think is the third one I actually bought out of all of these, um, my goal was, again, you guys probably all know, I love Halloween, I love horror, I love anything dark. So when I bought Lay Vampires, I thought it would be cool to work with during like the darker months, the darker half of the year. Um, I'm not like the hugest vampire fan. Um, I like them, but I'm not like crazy into vampires. But I liked the idea of this being a shadow work deck that really helps you kind of explore the theme of vampires and like what are some energies in your life that might be draining you. Very similar to like an energy vampire or something like that. So um, that's... The whole reason I bought this deck. So you can see the artwork is very dark. It's beautiful. It really is. And it doesn't shy away from tougher, kind of heavier hitting topics. Um, redemption. We've got Burnt by the Sun, which is like exhaustion. Let me see some of the darker ones. That Death Will Come. It's just very haunting. And this was a joy to work with. The Monster Within, Compassion, Reason. You can see there's a lot of skulls in here. And for me, this was just a lovely way to just like pull one card. I sat with it. I journaled about it like Jealousy. That's such a great card to explore. Anti-Hero. outsider, misfit, loner, supernatural, primal. This this card was really, um, I remember that being really awesome to work with. Connecting deep within, sacred dance and instincts, thirst, creator, sacrifice. 
So I adored working with this deck. Um, and as much as I loved it, I, I realized that, cause I worked, when I work with a deck, I try to work um, all the way through. So let's say I pulled this card today, religion. I won't shuffle it back in. I kind of put it to the side and I make sure I work with all the cards in the deck. That's how I get to know it. So I've worked with this deck in its entirety. And for those of you who aren't familiar with these decks, the guidebooks are awesome. So like it has, you know, all the info in the beginning, they have some spread ideas. But what I liked about this guidebook is the vampire speaks to you. It kind of gives you their message. And then there's a blessing, which is kind of like the, the light meaning. The curse is kind of like the shadow meaning. And then it's almost like an action, like what you can actually do with working with that card. And it has that for every single card. So I've read this book completely through and it's amazing. But did you guys ever just get that feeling where you're like, you know what, as amazing as this deck was, like our work is done. And I don't know if you felt that way, but this, for me, I just know our work is done. Like I got everything out of her I could, our time is up, but I love it so much. So I am gonna um, probably pass this along. I, I do currently have this up for trade on my Tarot Trade Tuesday. Um, but if anyone's interested to trade or purchase this one, let me know, you can send me a comment, but I love it but our time, like we had, we were together for a season. Like they say people in your lives come in for like a reason, season, or a lifetime. This was definitely um, a reason and a season, but our time is, is done. So um, I love this deck though. So this is Lay Vampires. Okay, so I think, okay, so we'll do this one next. So this is Alice the Wonderland Oracle, again by, um, Lucy Cavendish and Jasmine Beckett Griffith. So this is also a really great deck for shadow work. So these are the backs and I did edge these in like a bright blue to match like the whole like Alice's dress. So again, it's very similar. It's the same kind of art style. Um, this is all very Alice in Wonderland themed. And this deck was also really wonderful to work with. I worked with it in the same way as I did with Lay Vampires. I would pull one card a day, and once I worked with that card, I kind of put it to the back. So I've worked with every single one of these cards. And they this one, I feel like Lay Vampires was more shadowy for this one. I felt like it was more... It helped me kind of work through shadows with like my own creative work and kind of pushing me out of my comfort zone. So like shine bright like a candle, you will make it through this. Um, I'm trying to see what other messages were really significant for me. Find the lesson, changed in the night, you've changed quickly. Curious dreams, you can't go back to yesterday. Nonsense, curiouser and curiouser. Like, if you like Alice in Wonderland, um, you would probably really love this deck. But yeah, this despite the cutesy artwork of all of these decks, they are very, very deep. And I think it's funny because they're kind of marketed towards teenagers, which again, teenagers can absolutely do this work. But I think it's definitely um, meant for adults to like really dig into some like really serious work forget who you are let the conditioning fall away like that's just so powerful um investigate who who in the world are you like that's such a huge question so I don't know if I'm ready to let this one go now that I'm looking at it I thought I was going to but maybe I might have to work through the deck one more time and see if maybe I extract anything more from it. Yeah, I wonder what will happen next. Like they're just so good. Follow your own good advice. Do not drink poison, a moment's regret, uncertainty. Yeah, okay, so maybe I might need to hold on to this one still, but the guidebook is very similar. Um, this one with the cards, we have like the message and then there's a divination meaning and then a reversed meaning. And then there's also like a little quote 
in each one. So again, the guidebooks are really great. If you are thinking about these decks, I highly encourage you to definitely check out the guidebook if you're, especially if you're one who doesn't like typically check out guidebooks. Like I read these completely through. So maybe I think I'm holding on to that one a bit longer. We'll see. But I think Lay Vampires is definitely, that's definitely up to go. So this was actually the first um, Oracle deck I got from Lucy Cavendish and Jasmine Beckett Griffith. So this is the Oracle of Shadows and Light. So I think out of all of them, this one is my favorite. And this is the one that I'm definitely keeping, like 100%. So this one, again, is also really great for shadow work. Oops. See, like, this is... Wait a minute. What did I do here? This is... Okay, so this is actually... I was in the middle of working with this, so this is how I do it. So, like, once I use a card, I keep them upright, and then when I keep um, pulling for the next day, I pull from the, the deck that I haven't used. Let me put these off to the side, because I was working with this in November... Um, and then once December hit, I switched to um, my Seasons of the Witch Yule Oracle. So this is the back of the cards. I did edge these in black. And these, again, are super beautiful. The artwork is very haunting. And there is some like Halloween, fall vibes. There's winter vibes. Um, this is definitely a good deck for, I think, the darker half of the year. And this is definitely my favorite of the three. So this one I am definitely keeping. I just love the artwork. I think it also it weirdly um, kind of speaks to like doing some darker inner child work because I feel like this artwork definitely speaks to me on that inner child level. Like I can see me as like a young kid or like early young teenager like being really into this artwork so that's probably a reason why I like it so much but it's just like the keywords are great like stifled bored stuck um it's time to be brave guidance but where will it lead you a time for spirit miracle from death comes rebirth holding on way too tight intoxication, distorted view, and overindulgence. Don't lose hope. Clean up time. Time for change. So like the this deck is definitely my favorite um, of the group of these. And the guidebook is very similar like the others I've shown. Um, they have a lot of intro information on how to use the cards. And then for each card, you have like about the card, the card speaks. So whoever the character is in the card will speak to you. And then there's a divination meeting. So it's like that for every single one of the cards. So yeah, this is my like, sh like small little collection of um, Lucy Cavendish and Jasmine Beckett Griffith decks. Um, this one is definitely keeping because this is my favorite one. This is a maybe. Um, I've worked through it already, but I might need to work with it one more time. And then Lay Vampires, I've worked through completely, but I know our time is up together. So this one's definitely up for sale or trade. Um, there's another deck. I don't, I believe it's not by Lucy Cavendish, but the artwork is Jasmine Beckett Griffith, and it's a mermaid deck, which if some of you might know, I live at the beach, so I love like like I, I consider myself like a beach witch. I love like mermaid energy, ocean energy. So I'm hoping to try that deck maybe in the summer. Um, I think that would be really fun, but this one's definitely going. This is a maybe, this is staying. So I'd love to hear from you all what you think of these decks. Do you have any of them? Do you have any of the other decks? Cause I know um, these two creators have created quite a bit together. Um, do you think that they're, they're deep and great for shadow work like I do? Like I'd love to hear your thoughts. So um, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you're new to my YouTube channel, I'm very new on the tarot tube, so please give me a subscribe. And then if you don't already follow me on Instagram, I post daily for the collective um, 
on Instagram, I'm at Lumeria Star. And then I also just started a Patreon, which I'm really, really excited about. We do Tarot Trade Tuesdays. I teach tarot lessons and we do all kinds of like fun stuff. I do custom spreads, journal prompts, things like that. So you can also find me on Patreon at Lumeria Star. So um, I hope to connect with all of you um, somewhere and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone.